you guys hadn't seen, I'm selling these Terry and Michaela and Haddock shirts with the Fool's Aaron for when I start licensing in a few weeks in Vegas. And uh, I had these made as a surprise for Dad, and you can see the video. It's the first Funny Car Chaos video where I surprised him with them. So make sure to go check that out. The link to buy these is at the top of the description, so go down and check it out. Good morning world. We are on our way to the Texas Motorplex for day 372 of the Dallas Stampede of Speed. This weekend, tomorrow actually, starts the national event with the big cars and we have a lot going on with this weekend. We've got the Fan Fest tonight, we've got someone special driving our car this weekend, so there's a whole lot going on. We've got to get to the track and get set up and start putting things together because we got a lot to do, so let's get to work. So I'm not really sure if I've showed how we pack the trailer before, at least not downstairs. So we don't have two trailers, well technically we do, but we only run the one trailer. So. We gotta kinda fit everything in the one trailer. And dad is somewhat of a MacGyver guy. And he figured out how to fit the dragster downstairs in the trailer when we first started running two cars. So this is what it looks like. We put skinny 18 wheeler tires on in the back and just slide it down the middle. Dad's kinda smart. Little bit of a progress update since we last talked. The pit is all done and unloaded. We got the dragster all taken apart and we're waiting to put the funny car into the pit because we gotta figure out something to do with that big hole there because uh, it's not safe to put the funny car up on the Pro Jacks. It could fall and hurt someone. Uh, we're just waiting to put the dragster back together. We're gonna do that in a few minutes. Dad is working on the rear end and then he's going to pick gaskets for me. And yeah, we're making progress, we're getting stuff done. This pit's giving me a fit. Okay, on today's episode of Learning with McKaylin, yeah, we learned to gap spark plugs. Okay, um, let me find my tools. That's why I didn't want to use Gapping tool. Gapping rod. Annie sees. Sandpaper. Stay in school, kids. Then you can build refrigerators and whatnot. So Max came through and re-showed me how to do this so that I made sure that I was doing it properly. And now I have the ability to explain it. So, first thing you do is you take your uh, new spark plug, nice shiny new spark plug, and you take a piece of sandpaper. It looks like this is 320 grit. And we just run it through the um, gap in the spark plug. Then, take your gapping tool and we gap them to 13 thousandths. And the way Max taught me to remember it is what's the top speed of a top fuel car, roughly? Well, 330. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it also says 330 on this 13 thousandth tool so, because it's 0 0.330 millimeters. So, then we kind of insert it in at an angle. Okay, in this case, it doesn't need to be pounded on the gapping rod, but you would just pound it once or twice and check the fitment again, and you'd be good to go. Oh, well, actually, you gotta put anti-seize on it. So just put a tiny, tiny, tiny dab of anti-seize. Okay, I'm currently getting dressed to go to this fan fest thing. Uh, Dad isn't going. Uh, he's got to stay and finish up some stuff that he's working on with the rear end, but I've got to go for a couple of jobs that I'm doing. So hopefully I clean up all right and don't look like a dirt bag. 
Um, I'm going to be catching a ride with Mr. Buddy Hull, um, and we'll see where it goes from there. Also, these are the wrong jeans for these boots, but um, it's kind of what I got to work with right now. I also should probably wash my face. You could get some cool pictures with old cars down here. Hey, there's a bike. Oh boy. We're getting there. Welcome to down downtown Waxa Wax however you say this place, Waxahachie. I love this There's a pile of people here. Alright. Let's check this out and get some work done. Okay, so to be honest, I'm not really sure what all there is to do here, but looks like we got some music down here, a couple of kids things over there. I'm going to find a spot to stop and launch my drone before it gets too dark. We're going to turn the corner and get McKaylin Haddock on. So dude, you're about to get in a funny car. Yeah, that's it's crazy to think about. In two weeks, I'm going to be in our nostalgia car. It's crazy to think about. Man, I know you've had to be looking forward to this day, going to be able to hop in one with all the skills you've got elsewhere. Might be a dangerous combination for you in the future. Yeah, I think um, Dad, everybody's telling me as soon as I hop in this car, I'm going to be addicted to drag racing and addicted to driving. I think I already am. So being out here, getting to do all of this, I am so lucky to be able to do it through Dad and through the opportunities he's given me. And getting to drive that car is going to be the coolest thing I've ever done. For clarity's sake, who is your dad out here? My dad's Terry Haddock from Terry Haddock Racing, and he drives the Circle Racing Wheels Mustang. All right, man. You talked about the nostalgia funny car. Has there been any discussions about that big show funny car and the roadmap to it? We got to find a sponsor. Um, we aren't one of the high-budget corporate teams that always has a sponsor who's ready to go. So... We've got to find a sponsor. I'm working on growing my YouTube channel, Haddock Automotive, to hopefully lead towards that. And ultimately, the goal is so that Dad and I can race side by side. And that's what I'm working towards. That'd be a lot of fun, Haddock versus Haddock. We don't get to see a lot of those father versus son matchups in drag racing, but that would definitely be cool. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you. Okay, it's going to be hard to see me back here, but that was pretty cool. I was standing there talking to Justin Ashley about driving in a few weeks, and these, like, as they were going through the uh, conveyor belt of getting autographs, and this couple asked for my autograph because they watched the YouTube. That was actually really cool. I, uh, no matter how many times somebody recognizes me or comes up to talk to me about the YouTube, it's always so weird. Like, you actually know who I am. You recognize me, so. That, that's really cool. Also, it's a lot harder to sign shirts than expected. It's cool, this whole, the, the whole stampede of speed thing that they're doing is awesome. It's so well put together, and it's super cool that they're trying to bring new people to drag racing, get the younger generation into it, which is super cool. Um, this concert is also pretty cool. This whole fan fest, everything is really cool. So gonna wander around and enjoy, and enjoy it and not worry about working I went and put my camera back in the truck so I'll see you guys when we get back to the racetrack as noted we have this little hole in our pit so as a solution we're just gonna move the trailer over making our pit a little bit smaller but we can put cars on the other side and that way it's safe to put the funny car up on the projects so I introduced Terry Haddock's yard sale solvent tank $20 scooter $35 Blower table, come and get it for 10. Funny cars going back in the box. You know, I've seen a lot of crazy things while racing with dad, but never Austin powering a trailer with the awning on it where all half our stuff is sitting in the yard. Yeah. Mr. Bill, our foreign exchange student, what do you think? What about? This. The whole... I to move it with the hole in the floor. Yeah. Well, I think it looks like a load of pigs have been running around here. <laughs> That's it. So we're moving it and we're going to cover it up with the trailer because nobody's doing anything about it. Yeah. Tomorrow, um, 
Texas Motorplex is sending some guys over to look at it and that way it can be fixed. Um, we just got to get, we got to make sure we can work on the cars tomorrow. So we're just going to Austin Powers the trailer and the motorhome a little bit and get it all set up properly. Check out. Over there. This yeah. is crazy. We have I don't even know what to say. So for the next five minutes only, we're accepting offers on all of this stuff. Auction in the pits, you know. Well, we do some maneuvering. The math is, is not mathing here. I'm not sure if dad's actually gonna be able to get far enough over to miss the hole. He might be able to, but I'm not sure. We successfully Austin powered the 18-wheeler uh, and we got the pit set back up and it's uh, about time for bed. Um, so I will see you guys in the morning. We are gonna make at least three runs tomorrow. Uh, at least one with each car, possibly two with the dragster, we haven't decided. Um, yeah, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things. I need a nap and never give up.